Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and this is Dead Carpet Energy Drink Reviews, and it's 11.05 a.m., and it's Tuesday, April 13th, 2021. Anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing this year's brand new Summer Edition Red Bull. Um, it's still just spring about. It's still like April, you know. This is the Summer Edition for this year, so I got it early, you know, but um, anyway. Um, right now, it's exclusive at, um, I think, the Circle K gas stations and some other gas stations right now. And then also at Walmart, and then um, they'll be at other places like later this year in a few months. But I'm um, you know what I mean. But I'm um, anyway. Yeah, today I'm going to be reviewing the new summer edition Red Bull, and it's dragon fruit flavored. So oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah. 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 Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, they actually changed it, because um, one of my energy drink Instagram friends, you know, his name is Tyler, he got the drink early and it was cactus fruit, then they changed it to dragon fruit, so that's interesting, but um, yeah, in real life it's like a, um, sort of a lighter green can, but I'm gonna tell it appears darker though, so you know what I mean, probably because of my shading and stuff, lighting, but you know what I mean, yeah, in real life it's a little bit brighter, like a, sort of like a mint green, it's like a little bit light, but also dark, but you know what I mean? But anyway, it has a silver top with a silver Red Bull tab. The bottom's the Best Buy date and production code. Best Buy on December 11th, 2021. So it's still fresh for a little while. The Summer Edition Red Bull Dragon Fruit Artificially Flavored Energy Drink Vitalizes Body and Mind. 355 milliliters, 12 fluid ounces, 160 calories per can. Red Bull, the summer edition, the taste of dragon fruit, artificially flavored the wings of Red Bull. Red Bull is appreciated worldwide by top athletes, busy professionals, college students, and travelers on long journeys. Nutrition facts, serving size one can amount per serving calories 160. Total fat, zero grams, 0%, sodium, 125 milligrams, 5%. Total carbohydrates, 40 grams, 15%. Total sugars, 38 grams. Includes 38 grams added sugars, 76%. Protein, zero grams. Calcium, 40 milligrams, 2%. Niacin, 140%. Vitamin B6, 350%. I'm going to be 12, 120%, pentathenic acid, 70%. And yeah, I got this at Walmart, and it was like around $2.50, I think. So I guess it's okay price, but you know, Red Bull's expensive, you know, I wish it was cheaper, you know what I mean? Caffeine content is 114 milligrams per 12 fluid ounces, not recommended for children, pregnant, nursing women, and persons sensitive to caffeine. It has other ingredients. Distributed by Red Bull North America Incorporated, Santa Monica, California, 90404, made in Austria. Copyright 1996-2013. Has SKU, the ball logo, please recycle the recycling logo and some other codes. And www.redbull.com. So not a lot of stuff on the can, but yeah, it has 114 milligrams of caffeine. So, oh yeah, boys, it will get you lit, you know, just saying. But oh yeah, anyway, I'll let you see the can right quick. I don't know if you'll be able to see it too good on my tablet or not, but you know what I mean? But yeah, they had a green summer edition can before, but it was kiwi, but that one was like a lighter green. This is definitely like a darker green. So, you know what I mean? This is the best condition can that they had, but it's still a little bit dented and stuff. Um, down there, you know. But, you know what I mean? Summer Edition Red Bull. And they re-released um, a new Summer Edition Red Bull slush at Sonic, but this year it's the Dragon Fruit one. So I'll be reviewing that probably after my next review. So my next review, I'm going to be reviewing the new Zero Sugar Coconut Edition Red Bull, which is exclusive to Circle K. I forgot this one's not exclusive to Circle K right now, it's so exclusive to Walmart and I think another place. Not really for sure, but other gas stations will get it in a few months. Yeah, but the Coconut Edition Zero Sugar one, that's exclusive to like Circle K right now. But you know what I mean? I don't know if you can really see it too good, but oh well. Okay, the nutrition facts.
Get the warning and the other ingredients. Distributor information. The ball logo, the other code. And this KQ. Okay, that's pretty much the entire can. So anyway, I'm gonna shake it up right quick, open it, taste it, and give my review for it. So hold on a minute. Okay, I opened it, and the color, well, it's not green, that's for sure. It's like a um, hot pinkish purplish color, so you know what I mean? Looks like um, one of the Mountain Dew Rises I reviewed recently. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. But um, anyway, the scent. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh yeah, boys, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Definitely very tropical smelling. Definitely dragon fruit, I guess. Um, there's not really any dragon fruit energy drinks that I reviewed before, so this smells definitely very interesting, a very unique smell for an energy drink. It's still very tropical smelling, but um, has a little bit of a, that earthy type of smell, but um, uh, it smells a little bit like a um when you're in the grocery store and you're by the cantaloupes. Smells a little bit like that. Like a bit of an earthy, um, definitely a fruity smell though. But yeah, definitely smells um, interesting, that's for sure. Very more unique, but you know what I mean? But um, anyway, and I'm gonna try it, so here goes. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Well, well, that's definitely a very interesting flavor for an energy drink. It was sweet at first, very fruity, and definitely tropical tasting. It's a little tart and tangy, but um, it gets like a strong, a little bit of a sour taste, but um, well, I haven't really had dragon fruits before, but um, so I don't know if this will taste exactly like that, but um, it definitely reminds me of like um, cantaloupe though. And cantaloupe is like a fruit that I don't really like, you know? Um, sort of like watermelon, but um, and also like the honeydew melons, but I'm um, different. It's like an orangish color, I think. It has a little bit of a strong, um, definitely like a tangy, um, earthy flavor. A little bitter. Hmm. It also tastes a little bit lemony, so it's like, um, like lemon cantaloupe, I guess. That's what it reminds me of, anyway. Definitely a strong, tart flavor. It's sweet at first, but, um, yeah, then it gets a little, little weird and a little bit, um, not that good, so you know what I mean? But yeah, it has a cool can design. It's definitely a very unique flavor for an energy drink. It's the first dragon fruit energy drink I've had before, so you know what I mean? Um, that was a cool can design. I guess it's okay price. It could have been cheaper. It was like $2.50 like at Walmart. Right now it's exclusive to Walmart and I think one other place. But then other gas station stuff will get it in a few months, but you know what I mean? Um, Energy-wise, it has 114 milligrams caffeine, so it'll get you a little lit. So energy-wise, it lasts about three and a half hours, about four and a half hours of energy, so it works pretty good. <sighs> well, it's not disgusting, but, um, yeah, I think all the summer editions before this one was, like, better than this one, except for, like, the, I think it was called the Beach Breeze one, I think it was. It was, like, the lightish blue can. That one wasn't really that good. But, um, I think I like this one better than that. But, um, yeah, the other summer editions, like the tropical one and the watermelon and the coconut one were way better than this one, see what I mean? But yeah, it's a very unique flavor for an energy drink. But um, it was okay at first, it was sweet and tropical, but um, then it got like a weird, 
little bit of a bitter, tangy taste, a little sour. But yeah, um, I'm gonna give the new Dragon Fruit Red Bull Summer Edition Red Bull, you know. <sighs> well, even though it's a little weird, I still sort of like it. But um, yeah, it's not my favorite Red Bull though. I'm gonna give the new Dragon Fruit Summer Edition Red Bull. I'm gonna give an eight out of ten. So oh yeah, boys, it's still a little lit. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Give an eight out of ten. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a very unique flavor for a Red Bull. And an energy drink too, but um, energy wise it works good. I was, guess it's okay. Price could have been a little bit cheaper. Yeah, but um, the taste is good at first, and then it gets a little nasty. But you know what I mean. But um, I still think it's okay though. But yeah, um, I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. Even though I prefer like other summer editions over this one, it's still okay. It's not. It wasn't the worst summer edition, but you know, it wasn't the best either. See so, you know what I mean? I give it an eight out of ten. So oh yeah, oh yeah, boys, oh yeah, oh yeah. I give it an eight out of ten. Oh yeah. Anyway, my next review is going to be the new Zero Sugar Coconut Edition Red Bull. Stay tuned for that review. So more um, my upcoming reviews, some more videos. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace out. And bye.